Today my subject is English. So today we are going to discuss about nouns. So the first question which comes in our mind is what are nouns? Nouns are the words that function to be a name of a person, animal, place or a thing. Let us see an example. Mumbai is a big city. In this sentence, there are two nouns. One is Mumbai and one is city. Let us see one more example. I am playing with Ria and Jia. In this sentence, there are two nouns. One is Ria and other is Jia. Now we know the nouns. Now let's see the types of nouns. There are many types of nouns. Like singular noun, plural noun, countable noun, uncountable noun, common noun, proper noun, collective noun, Compound noun, abstract noun, and concrete noun. So these are the ten types of nouns. Now let's talk about singular and plural nouns. So what do you mean by single? Single means one and singular noun means referring to a single person, animal, place or a thing. Example, toy, book and a child. Plural means more than one and plural noun means referring to more than one person, place, animal or a thing. Example, toys, children and boxes. Now let's come to common noun and proper noun. So what do you mean by common noun? Common noun means in general. It do not have any special identification. Example, boy, school and mountain. So, do you know what is a proper noun? It is the opposite of common noun. It has a special identification. Example, Ram, Tina, India and Greenland. Now, let's talk about Countable noun and uncountable noun. This is very simple. Countable noun means the nouns that can be counted. And uncountable noun means the nouns that cannot be counted. Let's see some examples of countable nouns. Apples, tables, boxes, etc. Now let's see some examples of uncountable nouns. Air, water, rice, wheat and such more. Now what do you mean by collective noun? Collective noun means referring to a group of things as a whole. Example, group. Bunch, pack, family and such more.
Now comes the compound noun. So, what do you mean by compound noun? Compound noun means the mixture of two words. Example, text plus book is equal to textbook. Foot plus ball is equal to football. Bed plus room is equal to bedroom. Now let's talk about gender. There are four types of gender. One is masculine gender. Second is feminine gender. Third is neuter gender. And fourth is common gender. So do you know what is masculine gender? Nouns that refer to males are said to be of the masculine gender. Examples Man, Prince, Headmaster, Tiger, etc. Now comes the feminine gender. Nouns that refer to females are said to be of the feminine gender. Example, mother, woman, princess, headmistress, tigress, etc. Now comes the neuter gender. Nouns that name non-living things which are neither male nor female are said to be of the neuter gender. Example, Bed, guitar, table, river, etc. Now comes the common gender. We already know that common nouns are nouns that are in general. Like that only, nouns that refer to living things which are either male or female are said to be of the common gender. Example, student, doctor, salesperson, chairperson, cousin and such more. Thank you for watching my presentation.